my pantry tour um, and showed you all that um, stuffing that was in there. I told you that I would be making meatloaf for dinner one night and um, I would bring you along for it. So that's what I'm doing tonight. So it's a super easy recipe. It just calls for, um, it actually calls for a pound and a half of hamburger, but um, I don't do pound and a half. We go by pounds and so I'm going to use two full pounds of hamburger. And I'm just going to stick that in my KitchenAid mixer here. You can mix by hand. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like getting my hands all meaty. So I always use my mixer. Oh, and before I forget, I should set um, the stove for 350 degrees. So we'll do that right now. Get this other one in there. This is a super quick, quick and easy and delicious meal. Well, part of the meal anyway. So we have our two pounds of hamburger in there. I'm going to go ahead and throw the stuffing mix in. And get it open. that in and then I put a cup of milk. I've seen recipes that call for water. I just have always done the milk. I'm going to pour that over the stuffing so it can kind of soak that up a bit. And when I'm doing meatloaf I always do um, one egg for each pound of hamburger that I'm putting in. So I'm going to be putting in two eggs and a couple dashes of Worcestershire. And then I just get my paddle on. pan if you would like. I normally just put it into two bread pans. Get that out of the way. Let me get a spatula. Just kind of divide that between the two as even as I think it's going to be. doesn't have to be spread perfect. And then just take a little bit of ketchup. So 
flip that around. And then once the oven is preheated, I'll throw those in and let them bake for um, about an hour. I'll bring you back when they're all done.